Hi there, Amanda again. Uh, time for another update. Firstly, I hope everyone is following this account. If not, again, can you please press subscribe and hit the bell thingy me jig. Also, I'm putting up some little shorts, which things I do on TikTok and on here. So again, if you just want to have a look at them and just give me the thumbs up, let me know people are enjoying what I'm doing. Uh, and also, please go over to TikTok where I'll put things on and Instagram. All of them are it's at Amanda out there. So just look that up and you'll be able to find it. Okay, so in this video, I'm just going to cover a few fashion things. Um, I mainly work in an office, so a lot of what I've got in my wardrobe is sort of like office space. So it's nice, smart dresses. And, you know, in the summer, let a little bit of flowers go loose. Um, my favourite brands are Next, uh, Phase 8. I've got a bit of Marks and Spencers. A few Adriana Papel and a little bit of Gina Bacconi, but that's quite an expensive brand, so I don't shop there very much. Uh, my aim is to get hubs. I'm desperate to get hubs, so um, I think I'll be keep visiting Cheshire Oaks to get that. So what I thought I'd do is just show you a few bits and bobs I've bought recently and what I was wearing at work today. Okay, so the first bits I want to show you are shoes. Um, I'm quite a big foot. Uh, I take a 43 in shoes, usually a size 9, although some shops do a 9 in a 42, which is a bit awkward. But again, if it's on the generous size, I can usually fit into it. Okay, so I usually buy my shoes from either Clark's or Next, mainly because they get the best whip sizes and they're a true 43 and a nine so that's the sort of shoes i like okay now these are my latest purchase i got these from next you can see they are a block heel but they've got this nice contrast between cream and patent leather black on the front they've got a little bit of a gap there and a little bit of gap on that side very good for the winter and that they keep my toes dry uh, but at the same time uh, i can wear these after work when i'm going to a pub or something Block heel, essential. I can't do stilettos. I keep falling over on them. Uh, I'm a big girl, big foot. Please, block heels every single time. Right, another pair of shoes from Next. I've had these on today and I've had these for a couple of months. And yes, they are patent leather again with like a brogue styling. Again, the obligatory block heel on that corner because without that, again, I wouldn't stand up. Uh, these have just got a single uh, strap that goes across the top. Again, very comfortable, very good for the uh, winter and very good for an office. Uh, again, block heel, don't fall over anything. Now, if my editing skills are any good, and they are improving week by week, as you can probably tell from my videos, uh, I'm going to show you the full outfit that I've had on today in a big picture, which I recorded earlier. But in the meantime, what I've been wearing today is a next shirt dress from their tailoring range. It is like a burgundy uh, with stripes. Uh, it's got cuffs, buttons down the middle, and as you would expect, a belted waist. Again, very good for wearing around the office and again, very good for if I go out afterwards. Today, for instance, we went out for lunch and I didn't feel overdressed by going out for lunch in this. Good quality, not cheap because it's from their tailoring range, but I really do recommend next if you're a slightly tall girl like me. They're a bit generous around the width and very generous on the height. Okay, so this is my office outfit today. This is my burgundy uh, shirt dress I got from Next Tailoring. As you can see, it's belted at the waist, buttons up at the front. It's got a bit of a flick hem at the bottom, and I'm wearing it with those brogue shoes that I've just shown you in the last video. Okay, in terms of price, uh, both sets of shoes, I think we're in the $29.99 range, although I do tend to buy a lot of my stuff in the sales. If you go to the clearance section on the Next website and just put in your size, they can usually find something there that suits you. Although Next at the moment is selling off a lot of branded stuff that they don't brand themselves. I've seen Phase 8 stuff there. I've seen um, other stuff from Hubs. I've also seen some very, very expensive £200 shoes, which despite being sold at Next, I won't be selling, buying them. Um, in terms of the dress, I think that was £54.99, but again, I think I got it in a sale, so probably paid about £20 less. It's pretty much a go-to staple for me for wearing in the office, so hopefully that'll last me a good time. Finally, uh, the last thing I want to show you today, um, I go through handbags quite a lot. I like the uh, 1950s style, I think boxy style bags with a very traditional look. 
difficult to get hold of because I am very, very picky. I like a zip that goes right across the top rather than one which has flaps and stuff where people can put their hands in your bag. Um, so I've been looking for a new handbag for a while. Uh, I picked up, oh, must be about six years ago now, a leather one from Desigual. I think that's how it's pronounced in Barcelona when I was visiting there. And that's been my go-to bag for a long time. But I really needed a posh, office type bag. Again, I've gone for Peyton Leather. Seems to be my thing at the moment. Uh, this is from a brand in London called Bessie. Uh, I got this from TK Maxx. It's got a little purse attached to it, which I don't really use. But it's, as you can see, pretty much straightforward, tote style. Uh, zips on the side and a shoulder bag uh, which I use quite a lot again that was in TK Maxx I think that was $29.99 uh, I doubt it's real leather but it will do me for the foreseeable future okay so that's just a brief look at some of the fashion items that I've bought recently and what I was wearing in work today um, going forward, I think the next fashion one will probably be my collection of Phase 8 dresses. I absolutely adore that brand and I seem to buy one every couple of months. Uh, Phase 8 at Cheshire Oaks and online get a real hammering for me over time. And again, got to be in a sale because it's not exactly a cheap brand. So I'll be doing that. But if anyone wants to see anything again, please put in the comments and I'll see what I can fit in. Currently, I've got a pair of uh, Clark's ankle boots on my way. So hopefully I'll have them by this coming weekend and then I'll do a video of them in the coming days. Uh, next up, I think I'll probably be covering makeup. So any trans women out there who perhaps are a bit worried about how they can do their makeup. Again, I'm not saying I'm an expert, but this is me and this is how I do it. So hopefully you'll be able to pick up something from that. In the meantime, uh, please give the old thumbs up. Please give the subscribe button a little press. And of course, visit me on Instagram and TikTok if you can. In the meantime, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you soon.